Hello everybody and welcome back to this Everton FM uh, save. This is episode 11 um, and today we are facing Fulham and Tottenham. Uh, since you were last with me, our form has been quite good. Which you might be thinking, oh, tactic, 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 change, 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 overpowered. But let, let, let's take a deep dive. Uh, we were here for the, I believe it was these two games, Byro 4 um, where we won 4-0, and Man City where we won 2-1. We then beat OGC Nice 3-0, and West Brom 3-1, both expected and fine wins, before beating Quarterback 6-0, another expected win, and beating Liverpool 2-0. I think this game was the one that didn't really tell the full story. Yeah, we did not deserve to win the game. Uh, it was just real lucky that Julian Alvarez was on fine form. Yeah, by the way, Julian Alvarez... Is on absolute banging form. Uh, he picked up his first goals and then really kicked off. You know, he was scored against Man City, 93rd minute. What a way to score your first Premier League goal, right? That's what I said. He then scored in the next game, the next game, the next game, and the next game. So he's on quite a run of form here as uh, we are coming up to face Fulham. Uh, I'm giving one more episode to this tactic uh, and uh, really... Yeah, I'm giving one more episode to this tactic. I mean, like, if it's still overpowered, if you all th if you all in the comments think it's still overpowered, then I'll, I'll change it for sure. But uh, for now, I'll keep it. For now, I'll see if it, if it continues its, uh, its fine form. Uh, I believe, what day is it today? Today is the... is Wednesday. I'm going to have a video. I think I'm going to have a video... Posted. I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna have a video posted on the twelfth, which is this weekend. It's not gonna be an FM video, uh, as you can tell by the fact that it's the twelfth instead of, you know, the normal times that I do uh, videos on, like the eleventh, uh, the ninth, the seventh, etc. This one's on the twelfth, uh, and it is my uh, cha UCL Champions League. Round of 16's predictions, where I go into d into depth on what I believe uh, will happen in the round of 16 of the Champions Champions League. Uh, I use, you know, I use my own common sense. There's some interesting takes, and I hope everyone uh, was watching this video definitely should t check it out. If I mean, if that's your thing, but yeah, this is the starting eleven. Not very good. You know, Abdul Diallo's traveling to international duty. Which is very annoying, I believe now is about African Cup of Nations. Speaking of African Cup of Nations, the time this was recorded, uh, Senegal have won the African Cup of Nations. Uh, today is the two second, two days, one day after uh, the AFCON final. It's, it's one day after the AFCON final. Of course, I'm pleased, Edward Mendy, coming up big. Uh, oh, wow, Fulham immediately here, almost scoring, but yeah, Edward Mendy coming up big. <laughs> Terrible start to this game. Coming up big in the in the, in the the penalty shootout, which is very nice to see as a Chelsea fan. We're getting slammed currently by Fulham. Trossard with a corner comes in. <sighs> Kuyate should put that one away. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say here. Najib Amiri's corner comes in. Godfrey... They knock it off the line. Niakata tries to put it back in. That's our first shot of the game. This is what I'm saying. This tactic is not foolproof. We're scoring from corners here as the ball comes in for Ben Godfrey again over the bar this time. I think we're easing back into this game a little bit. But, you know, domination from Fulham. They definitely should have scored in that first pit. Florian Newhouse is in, rounds the keeper, and puts it in the back of the net. It's superbly played by Florian Newhouse. Gives us the 1-0 lead against Fulham. I know, very, very, very good. Uh, recent form has been fantastic. You know, that's not all entirely due to the tactic. It's entirely due to, uh, mostly due to the fact that our team is playing well. And you can say, oh, the tactic has got him in his custom position, you know, in this position, in that position. I'm telling you, we're just playing well. Um, I was not using this tactic for all of those games offline. Alexander Mitrovic equalizes. This is just a basic game showing you that this tactic is not unbeatable or or just ridiculously insane. It's not. 
Uh, we're currently 1-1 to Fulham, as I said in the last video. If we're trying to get into the Champions League for, ne for the next season's video, that's a good shot from... Saved by Rodak, but Amiri gets on the end of it, and whatever's happened there, I thought the highlight ended when Anthony Gordon's shot was saved. That's if Amiri doesn't stop fighting and puts the ball in the back of the net. Uh, an undeserved, but we have 2-1 lead, and I've completely forgot what I was just talking about. I know it was something about the tactic. Uh, I'm just going to keep talking about it. I'm going to tell you, you know, all our players are playing incredibly well, you know, despite... I, I, yeah, I think I was t saying that I used not this tactic every single time in the offline games. I used different ones just to see if I could get back into the groove of having another one. And uh, I used a different one for Quarterbag and I used a different one for Nice in, in the in the competition that I'm... It's more affordable for me to lose in right now, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, the, both of those games won 6-0, 1-3-0. I didn't decide to keep it, just giving this video one more chance, and also trying to see if anyone comments anything about, you know, changing it. And if so, then I will change it. If you'd rather see me, you know, fight up and down, try and find a nice tactic, I'll do that. Anyways, we're up two and a half time. Uh, it's not going very well for us right now. Townsend's injury, not a very pleasant sight. Mason Holgate, I'm going to take off. Just a little bit tired, not playing, not a very good player, really, Mason Holgate, especially not at right back. And I've been thinking recently about moving him on as well from the team. I'm keeping him now because an important backup is Caligari has no one behind him. But uh, let's take a look at the current Premier League table. As it stands, we are doing excellently. Najim Amiri's cross comes in. Ben Godfrey is the third chance from a corner today. Still not putting that ball in the back of the net. Not going to judge him for it, but like, please put the ball in the back of the net. I'm going to bring on uh, the man on... But I'm not going to risk... I'm actually not going to risk his current form. I'm going to bring on Dusan Vlahovic. Hopefully grab a goal. His current form could do with a little bit of improving. Anthony Gordon's free kick. Rodak forced into a save. Anthony Gordon this game, in my opinion, he's looked promising. He, lo he looks very promising. Newhouse from the corner. Godfrey over to Awar. Awar tries to take it past his man. Good block. Very good block. Fair play. We're set here for a corner. Hussam Awar again. We're going to look for the front post again. We are not going to be able to find that. Is that Nathaniel Chalaba or is that uh, Trevo Chalaba? I need to... He's just come off the pitch. It looked like it was Nathaniel because of the position. Yeah, it is Nathaniel Chalaba. Younger brother performing very well in real life currently. This is too very... This is very nitty-gritty nitty for a 12th, 12th side in Fulham. We need to be doing better than this. We've had, you know, we, we've had XG, but they've had the same amount of shots as us. Even more shots than us now. It's a little bit suspect what's going on here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really not trying to, to lose right now. I, I'm not sure. I might go to the... I might, for the get a game against Tottenham, go to the tactic that was working in the Europa League, just in cases. Uh, I'm, I'm going to think about that. I'm going to think about what tactic I should use for the next game. Ben bon bon Godfrey picking up man of the match, despite his three-headed attempts uh, missed. I'm not really a problem. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you all for the uh, Tottenham match there in second position. Uh, and we'll see what tactic I've decided to go with. See you then. We are back here at the Tottenham match, uh, and I made my decision. I have decided we will keep this tactic for this game, but uh, I'm going to change it. I'm I'm just going to change it. Uh, I I feel as though it might be getting unfair, even despite you know some poor starts to games. Maybe you know I, I'm going to change it. Try try and see if I can uh, really do anything. Uh, myself, you know, find an interesting tactic. I'm going to keep the formation. It suits us best. Um, well, I'm on this screen just to show you what is going on in the Premier League before we play this game. 31 points. If we beat Tottenham, we move up to 34 points. Two points behind Tottenham, uh, behind Liverpool, and fighting even for the Premier League. Um, but yeah, so win against Tottenham pushes us over Tottenham and gives us a big boost 
in in our attempts to you know get you at UCL. Uh, people will be fighting Tottenham. Tottenham will be under more pressure, uh, etc. So I'm gonna start Newhouse Keen. Uh, Caligari can start after missing the last game. Branthwaite gonna have to give him a start. But the front three is looking very good, looking very fit. Uh, after not looking very fit in the last game, but it's Vlahovic, Calvert Lewin, uh, and Julian Alvarez, all players are incredibly good and have been on very good form uh, other than Dusan Vlahovic meaning we're going to try and you know try and win this game here just just by the sheer quality of our attack uh, in real life Dusan Vlahovic has scored on his debut for uh, Juventus as well as Denis Zakaria scoring on his debut as well so yeah it seems as it was a very good January summer, uh, January window for uh, the team that plays in black and white. And it's not Newcastle. Juventus. Anyway, here's a highlight. De, De Lorenzo to Harry Winks. Bernard Deschi to Pagliña. Chopagliña. Uh, interesting signing made by Tottenham in this. Son moves it out to Sassanion. Sassanion to Ndombele. Back for Pagliña. Winks. Bernard Deschi. And Bernard Deschi makes a mistake. We counter. Dusan Vlahovic. Ah, it's a poor ball from Dusan Vlahovic. That's what I'm saying. Stuff like that's going on recently with uh, with Dusan. But Nadja Mamiri, we know how good he is. We know how good he has been. And Dusan Vlahovic, I don't even know what just happened there. I have no idea what just happened there. Let's take a a second look at what, what just happened. I'm going to rewind the game here. Because I have absolutely no clue on what happened. Nadja Mamiri picks, up uh, picks off Steven Sesenyon. Puts it in for Vlahovic. Vlahovic moves it over to his left foot. Lloris moves backwards and makes the save. But great work from Amiri. Unlucky from uh, Dusan Vlahovic. Alvarez's corner comes in. Gosale Nasio doesn't win it. And uh, Sanchez leading a break here. Hungman Son. A little bit scary. Florian Newhouse puts his foot straight through Son. Clear yellow card. And uh, I'm happy it's not more, actually. Because I've seen Lighter get called a red card in this game, for sure. Julian Alvarez and DCL playing well. So is Vlahovic. Similarly, our, our, our best players right now, Awar, uh, close behind. Di Lorenzo fouls Dominic Covert lewin on the edge of the box. This is a place where we can definitely score from. Amiri calls it in. Keane hits the bar. Unfortunate effort there from Keane. Uh, that's just missing. Florian Newhouse. I'm going to give him to halftime, but he's completely dead. A couple of my players are, actually. But Newhouse is not playing too well. So let's just take him off the DM. Bring on Allen. Try and control. Gosali is definitely not coming off the pitch. Caligari will. And then I'll make a decision on who to take off here. Awar, Amiri, or, you know, Vlahovic, DCL. I really don't know. Really, really is quite a, a, a schedule going on right now. Bernadeschi's cross comes in for Nicolas Sula. Tottenham yet to hit a shot on target. Schedule right now very demanding for us. Uh, as the Europa League is definitely rubbing off on our performances in the Premier League. Uh, and of course that would happen. Uh, it makes very good sense. I'm going to bring off Awar for the return of Rafinha. Uh, we're going to look to see if Rafinha can keep the form that was going on before he got injured into this game. But before I can do that, there is a highlight. Padinha to Sessegnon. Back to Padinha. Sanchez across to Sula. Winks. Padinha. Sanchez. Divine, Sanchez, and they're playing the ball brilliantly. Wow, that's a good ball in for Brian Gill. Cross it in. Branthwaite does well to clear it. It's not us on the end of the ball here. Sanchez pushing the pace yet again. Sesenyon. Sesenyon not finding anywhere to go. Sanchez, can we just pick pockets? Sanchez here. No, he finds Divine. I think that's Divine wrench, but Brian Gill comes in. Brian Gill hits the post. A little bit scary right now for us as uh, we're... Not playing too well in the second half. Branthwaite throws it in for Allen. Devine wins it back easily. Son on the through ball. Son's in. It's a good save, but this is... This is getting bad. This is getting a bit... A bit disgusting. Uh, Bernardeski crosses it in. Wrench. I think that's Devine wrench, but the shot saved by Levakovic. We'll see at the end of this highlight. Uh, Levakovic, the highlight's not over. Jared Branthwaite now on the left-hand side. Uh, it is uh, it's Alfie Divine. It's not. I think there's a player called Divine Wrench. 
I could be mistaken. Spelt like this. There is, but it, oh, it's 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 a different way of saying it. I'm gonna scout him as well because in different FM saves, this guy becomes a monster. Uh, as you probably know by the fact that I know his name, even though it's not even his player and it's at Tottenham. Anyway, we have a free kick here. Gosali Nasio to Rafinha. Backwards for Allen. Allen with a terrible pass, and we're just getting easily pickpocketed, but Ben Godfrey does very well. Rafinha now Dusan Vlahovic is in. Vlahovic, and he slams the ball into the back of the net. Assist by DCL, and Dusan Vlahovic, his 11th goal of the season, continues to fight with Calvert-Lewin over who will be the top goal scorer. Ben Godfrey with a good challenge. Rafinha plays the ball over to Calvert-Lewin. It's a great through ball in. Dusan Vlahovic. Pummels the ball into the back of the net. Lloris laying down, knowing he's got absolutely no chance for the ball there. Great goal. Uh, somehow we do manage to get the get the lead here, and hopefully we can continue this current momentum forwards. Julian Alvarez in the second half has been rather unpleasant, but my whole team is shattered. Uh, I can't wait for the... Oh, we got a highlight here before it ends. I was going to say, I can't wait for the group stage of the uh, Europa League to be over, but Steven Bergwijn, Koza in Livakovic gets there first, because then we have a break from Europa League, then we have just Premier League, then we don't have eight games per month, maybe. I'm not really sure. Ball played forward for Dusan Vlahovic, but they win it. And this is the last minute, and we know what Steven Bergwijn can do in the last minute, running forwards on left-hand side. Koza in for Divine, but uh, doesn't win it. Dusan Vlahovic over for Julian Alvarez, sends the ball for Rafinha, and we've got men forwards in numbers here. Rafinha across. Julian Alvarez at the back post. He does continue his goal scoring form. It is a good finish. It is 2-0 to Everton. And uh, great performance from us. And we have the lead. And we have the win.